Hey guys, welcome to this video. From the last video, we created a product and now it's time for the second step, start selling your product, right? That's the whole purpose of Light Funnels. You can do this in two different ways. You can either create a store or a funnel. Um, for a single product, a sales funnel makes more sense. And you can do that in two ways as well. So the first way would be to go towards the funnel step and from there, create a funnel and attach a product. But there's a much simpler way. So before we are going to start selling the product, I also added an additional variant. Uh, as you can see, a color variant, just gave it the name color, went with the option style of color, and then I filled in all the available color options. And it's really, really easy to do. So if I say I want to have yellow, then you will see a circle with a line uh, strike through, right? But if you press this, then you can either fill in the hex code if you have that specific hex code, or you can just turn around with the sliders, play around, and then have that specific color, as you can see. So as soon as you add the color, it will also be displayed on the bottom with variants, as you can see. We have all whites here with all the different kinds of variants. And then we have all blacks, blues, greens, and yellows, right? So if we remove the yellow, you will also see that it will automatically be updated on the bottom where all the yellow variants will then be disappeared. So with this in place, let's start selling by pressing the top right button, start selling, and then we can choose again for the e-commerce store if you have multiple products that you want to set up. But for now, let's go with the sales funnel. If we press next, then we will be able to select a template. So if you want to quickly set things up within just a few minutes, there's no need to start with a blank template. There are a lot of different kinds of templates available inside the Light Funnel store, as you can see, and you can choose one whichever fits you best. So let's just go with this hoodies. Let's go with next. Now we can select the funnel pages. So for this example, let's just do a sell product, which will result in a product page, a checkout page, and a thank you page. Let's press next. From here, you can select your funnel currency. So if you do not want to have your account currency, you can also select any of the currencies available. Let's just keep it at the account currency and press next. And from here, we will be able to give it a name. So let's say this will be Mr. Beast uh, hoodies. Let's go with open the funnel. And now in the back end, the uh, Light Funnels will create the pages for you uh, with the template that you have selected. And as you can see, we now have a simple product page, a checkout page. And if we go a little bit back towards that end, we also have a thank you page. And you can customize this fully towards your own liking. The great thing is if we press edit the product page, all of our product details have already automatically been imported. How cool is that, right? So you will see that the product images display here, the product title, we have the, uh, the pricing itself. And as you can see, it is all being fetched from the product pricing directly, right? Uh, if there is a special offer to show, then it will show here. But since we don't have it, let's just remove it by pressing the delete item or the trash bin icon. And now you will also see the nice display of the color variants. Right? And as you can see, you can just pick the color and from here you will be able to select your size. So if we are going to save this and put it inside of preview mode, then you will see that it's all being nicely aligned as well. So let's take a look. So here we have all the product details. You can switch between the different kinds of images as you can see here. Here are the colors. You can just select your color and then also the available sizes. You can pick your quantity and press buy now, right? So how cool is this that you can just set it up within like a minute or so. Now, if we go back, you can see that you can also adjust all things below this. So we have a product description. This is just static text, but this is automatically being pulled in from the product description. So if we go towards settings, you will see that this get text from is enabled. And from here, you will be able to select the product description. If we head down, you will also see there is a video, so you can either remove it or replace it with your own video. Uh, you can also select the platform, so either YouTube or Vimeo. You can set it towards autoplay, loop, show title. Uh, but if you want to remove it really easily, just press the icon. If you accidentally remove something, you can also say, okay, I want to undo this, right? And there we have the video again. So that is something that you could do and automatically adjust. So if we want to add a divider right on the top, you can go towards styles all the way at the bottom and we'll have a divider section here. Just enable it. Let's say select top, select a specific, for example, waves, and you can already see a nice looking layout here, right? How cool is this? Um, you can adjust the waves towards your own liking, as you can see here, and give it a little bit more space. You can then, for example, give it any kind of color. So let's say we want to have this color, and now you have a nicely looking divider here. So if we save this and go towards the front end, then let's refresh. And if we refresh now 
and scroll down, you will have a nice divider in a new section. So how cool is this that you can just adjust this within just a few clicks? That is also the power of light funnels. And again, if this is not towards your liking, you can just either delete it or change it and customize it towards your own text. This is again, all static text, as you can see here. This is being pulled in from the feature descriptions. And this is also set up in a repeater. So if we take a look at the repeater, it will basically loop through all the different kinds of features and will then be visible here. So that is how a repeater works. And as you can see, product features, you can set up your repeater and then it will show. Same with the testimonial comments. So that is something that you can also fetch directly from your, uh, from your section, right? So this is a carousel, but inside this carousel, you will see that get the images from the product testimonials. And this is the testimonial comment. This is all being grabbed from the testimonial section. We also have some customer reviews, as you can see here. And this, again, is set up inside of a repeater where the product reviews are going to get fetched. And at the front end, it will then look something like this. So we can just scroll through the different kinds of testimonials. And on the customer reviews, you will have this repeater nicely aligned with the rest of them. These are the frequently asked questions. So these are also dynamically being pulled in. So if we scroll towards that section, then you will see that we have the FAQ questions here. Uh, but if we scroll up towards the repeater, again, you set up a one piece of the repeater. So this specific section. So let's go towards the container. We set up this text, we set up this text, and then we will be able to basically fetch the FAQ section that way. So you can see this is the FAQ question, and this is then the FAQ answer. And this is how easy it is to also insert that fully dynamically. And it's all being done for you already, right? So you don't have to do it from scratch. You have it directly available. Besides the product page, of course, you can also uh, customize the checkout and the thank you page. So for example, if you do not like the background color white on this contact information settings, then you can just select a column and from here go towards styles, scroll down until you see background and then you can easily change the background like this. Just a few clicks and you have a completely different kinds of look, right? So if we just scroll through it, then you will have a completely different one by just changing the background color. So if we are going uh, to customize this a little bit more, so for example, if we want to customize the input a little bit more, then we can also go and style that. So if we say, I want to style the border, I want to have a bigger border, right? Then if we click out, you will now see that this one has a much bigger border than the one on the right. And that is how easy it can be. And so if you want to add a little bit of shadow, just drop down, take a look at how it's set up. And if you want to customize this towards your own liking, you can just play around with the sliders, the blur effect, and then also add some additional styling here. So for example, if you want to have a more of a white kind of glow, that is something that you can do as well. And you can push it out, you can push it back in. You can also have an inset. So if you want to have the sh a shadow as an inset inside the input, that is something that you can do as well. So if we do it with black, then you will have a much uh, then you will have a much better overview of how it looks like, right? So if we just go with this one, it does not look the greatest, but just to show you how easy it is by just adjusting the sliders to have a completely different effect. So to conclude, this is how easy it is to be able to create a funnel, a sales funnel directly from your product page. Soon as you created your product, you can just press the top right button, start selling, then select your sales funnel, and from there select the template to get started customize the page towards your own liking, add a divider or two, and then you will be able to start selling within just a few minutes. If you like this video, do consider dropping a like. We really appreciate that. And if you have any questions, the team is always there for you to answer them. For now, have some fun, try it out, take care, and talk soon.